Boulder Mountain, I have a question for you today. What consumes your thoughts throughout the day from the moment you wake up to the time you put your head down at the pillow? What consumes your thoughts? What are you distracted by? Now, it could be something with great anticipation that you're looking forward to tomorrow, next week, later on this year that you're thinking about and you can't wait for it to happen. It could also be a worry or an anxiety or a fear. It could be that bill at the end of the month that you're worried about. You're wondering how you're going to pay it. One of the greatest distractions we have in our society today is the phone, right? How many times do we reach for that phone throughout the day? 96 times on average are we engaging with our phone. We, we open it 150 times a day. But we touch our phone on average 2,617 times a day. 57% of Americans say they're addicted to their phone. And 40% of Americans say they have anxiety when their battery life of their phone drops below 20%. What does that look like in, in your life? What do you think about the most? And what would it look like if we replace that with thinking about a relationship with God, spending time intimately with Jesus as he sits with us and as he walks with us as he goes throughout our day? What's one thing we could change in our routine throughout the day that would cause us to remember our relationship with God? You see, Colossians 3 says, For us, as followers of Jesus, to set our mind on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Be heavenly people. That doesn't mean we don't go to work, we don't take care of our normal day-to-day -day tasks. It means we're constantly being reminded of God's goodness and His grace and we're thinking about God. Within two minutes of an average American waking up, they're reaching for their phone. What if rather than doing that, we begin our day engaging in conversation with our Heavenly Father? And the last thing we think about as our head hits the pillow at night is our relationship with our Heavenly Father. What would need to change for you to spend a little bit more time in your relationship with God? One way to do that is by having an intentional plan in reading God's Word. Have a plan. Yes, opening up the Bible, reading a verse is good, but do you have a plan that you're reading through a chapter, a book of the Bible? You can do that with friends. You can do that with family. You can share the things that God is teaching you by getting together in a coffee shop and, and sharing, this is what God's teaching me, and this is I want to hear what God's teaching you. There's some accountability there. Do you have a plan to intentionally spend time with God on a daily basis? Another question I have is, how do you remember God throughout your day? What are some things, best practices that help you remember God? Maybe it's an intentional walk, that on that walk you're praying, you're talking with God. Maybe it's over your lunch time. But what if... The thing we think about the most throughout the day, what if that was our relationship with God and not a, a worldly device that causes us to be distracted by things that other people are doing, other people are showing off, uh, other people's highlight reels we're distracted by rather than what God wants to show us today. What would that look like? Another idea is to have a social media fast for a day, a week, or maybe even a month. Now, not all things on social media are bad. I think there's some really good redeeming qualities about social media, but it's when it becomes a distraction. We spend way too many hours a day or a week on it. That's when it becomes a problem and becomes a distraction from our relationship with God. Let me remind all of us the goodness of God. Psalm 91, verse 14 the last three verses of Psalm 91 says this, Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. When there's trouble... We often lean into ourselves and think about how we can solve the problem, but here it says in trouble, call out to God, and he will rescue us, he will honor us, and he will show us salvation in that.
problem. And in that trouble, we find the goodness of God. Psalm 91, 14 through 16. Call out to God. Include Him in your day to day. Include Him in your thoughts, in your struggles, in your highs, and in your low. Let me pray. God, would you remind us of your goodness throughout the day today? May we pause, reflect, consider you in all the decisions that we make today. If there's something that we need to give up, if there's an addiction to a phone that needs to change, would you give us clarity on that? If there's a a time, a a way to pause the time we spend on phones, uh, give us clarity on that, Holy Spirit. And may we have the courage to do what you're asking us to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Boulder Mountain, have a really good rest of your week.